Hi guys, welcome back to Abjada. So in the previous one, we got a list of uh, all the to-dos and uh, there was no functionality uh, done. Now in this one, let's look at how to update these tasks or to-dos and uh, make sure it uh, changes in Superbase as well. So let's, uh, let's get started. So before we move on from here, I'm going to make this uh, to-do a component. I will call this uh, to-do and we'll pass to do as a prop here. Now to do is not there, so we're gonna create that in our library to do dot spelt. I'll just paste this here. And also we need uh, the, um, the to do to be uh, taken here. And I think uh, the style as well, we can move it to to do. To is its own component. Uh, let's import it. Import to do from library slash to do dot um, Okay, we got it. Now it should work as it was before. Yeah. Now in to do, so whenever the update happens, so this is on input. Uh, we can do on key down also, but let's not do that. That's uh, it's gonna update it too many times. So on input is fine. We will call a function called update uh, to do. All right. So that function is not there. So what we do is we will with along with to do we will get this as well. And uh, for that, we have to pass it here as well. And here we'll create this uh, no, function const. You can do that. You can pass around functions as well. So let's see. Let's say we get to do here. Uh, we have to pass to do here as well in our component. And let's console table this. Let's see if we, if we get the value well, here. When you update something here, yeah, we are we are getting it, right? So veggies, and we get it. But if you observe that you know we are getting the previous value itself. Now the idea is in update to do we get the new value and update it with that. But what we are getting is the previous value. So before we send it itself we'll make that change so the way we can do that is here uh, let's pass event now to do dot task we'll change the task to e dot current target dot value now what happens is the task will be updated with whatever value we enter here the current target value that will be passed to update to uh, now let's see veggies here see uh, the changes are coming here now in update to do we can uh, yeah there is a function as I said if you go to API there will be um, functions there will be methods which are specific to your table so let's search for update Here's the one. Let's get this. I will try this first and then catch errors. And if so, I'll console.log those errors. Okay, so inside try, we put this asynchronous function. We'll make this an asynchronous function as well. Now, if here it says other column, so that would be our, you know, um, from to do's we have to update the task with the new to do you know, to do dot task the new one now how do we uh, find out which this is the filter where we have to define which exact to do we want to update we'll do it by id and that would be our to do dot id 
and uh, that should do it I think let's see uh, data yep let me go here um, instead of thread we'll do butter and we'll click outside nothing happened let me refresh and butter it's changed so let's go back to the table it did because you know in in, uh, in our front-end app it changed all right yeah so it has changed to get butter here uh, let me come back and change this to get uh, more milk and then click outside and here we have to refresh again okay so it changed all right so the update function is working uh, in the next one we'll see how to get this uh, completed or incomplete uh, very similar to how we did uh, this one and also maybe we'll figure out how to delete thanks guys bye bye